You look amazing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Erin. I'll be your server today. Can I start you off with anything to drink? Yes, actually, I will take a juice with no ice. Okay, what kind of juice? It don't matter, as long as it's not orange, because I'm allergic. Okay. And no ice, please. No problem. Okay. And um, I'll just have the water. Water? No. Okay, your menus are right there. I'll be right back to take your order, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any idea what you might like? Uh, no. I want some breakfast, though. I know that. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, I have the fruit punch for you. No ice. Thank you. And the ice water. Awesome. Did you guys come up with anything to eat yet? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm just going to take a breakfast special. Breakfast special? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll have the same. Okay, I'm going to put that in for you right now, okay? All right. Thank Appreciate you. you. You're welcome. So, tell me about yourself. Okay. Uh, what would you like to know? I don't know everything. You got any kids? Yes, two. As a matter of fact. Uh, my youngest birthday is tomorrow. My ex-wife is taking uh, the kids to Disney World to celebrate. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. What about you? You have any kids? No, I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be rough. <laughs> no, no, okay, let me clarify. Not like I can't physically, but I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do it. Okay, I got you. Well, trust me. Listen, once you get used to them, not that bad. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. How's that? Okay. <laughs> okay. I have the breakfast special for you. Okay, thank you. And for you, I'm going to grab you some silverware real quick. Okay. okay. Awesome. Looks good. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. thank you. And here's your bill. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Um, excuse me. Uh -huh. Can we get you to separate the bills, please? Separate the bill? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No, no problem. Alright. <sighs> um, so I, I have something I need to ask you. Okay, what's that? You mind giving me a ride home? My homeboy that dropped me off, he actually uh, had to go to work, so. That's fine. Um, Ooh. Can I run to the bathroom real quick? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Okay. I'll be right here. Oh, wait, I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, Anthony. Alani? How can I help you? You know, maybe I should be asking you the same thing. Excuse me? What are you going to do now that your sponsor is filed for bankruptcy? What are you talking about? Oh, so you haven't heard? No, I haven't. Well, it's all over the blog sites. Even the news. You know, Alani, this doesn't have to end on a bad note. This could actually benefit the both of us. And how is that, Anthony? Easy. All you have to do is join my campaign. <laughs> Me join your campaign? I would never. Why not? This could benefit the both of us. You mean an opportunity that could benefit you? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, we all know the truth isn't always pretty. Look, Alani, what are the chances of a major corporation like 10-3 filing for bankruptcy? Anthony, I'm not siding with you, okay? Not this time. You talking to me like I'm the enemy. Of course not. I don't have any enemies. Look, Alani, I think we just need to work together. Try Look, is there anything else that you need? Because I have to get back to work. Nope. That'll be all. Face it. Now you drunk and your heart's racing. Blue ice. You here early? Yeah, I woke up a little early, so I decided to come on in. I wish you would do that every day. I bet that's the yell I'm doing no work. Hello? What's up? Yeah, I'm cool. Wait, today? Ain't nobody thought to call me. She knew? All right, yeah, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Hey, man, I gotta go. Go? The day hasn't even started yet. I know, I, I got it. Hey, D. Yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, I'll call you later.
Hey, you busy? Hey, no, what's up? A lot, actually. You want to talk about it? Yeah, it's actually about my mom. What about her? Her death. Oh my God, when did she pass? Well, she passed yesterday. I'm so sorry, Damon. Yeah, by the time we find out she had cancer, she's already in her third stage, I mean. What kind of cancer did she have? Pancreatic cancer. Mm, one of the deadliest. Yeah, tell me about it. How is your father taking all of this? Man, fuck him. That motherfucker let her die. Not only did he let her die, but he let her die alone. I just don't understand how you can just never be around and still think you gotta say something to find a decision. And as soon as shit get rough, you just bounce. I mean, she stayed with him through infidelity, through abuse, physical and mental. And as soon as she needed him, he was just gone. Well, how does Ashley feel about it? She taking it pretty bad. I gotta go over there and apologize to her when I calm down. I went over her house yelling and stuff. I thought she knew. She ain't know nothing about it. Ashley! Open the... Ashley, oh, boy, what the hell wrong with you? Where the hell Ashley at? I'm right here. What's going on? Why don't you tell me? Because I'm the one left in the fucking dark. Damon, what are you talking about? You let that nigga make the final decision? The final decision? Final decision about what? She's gone. They pulled the plug. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, no. Hell. Oh. I told him I couldn't make it down there today. So he said he would go. I told him to call me before he signed off on anything. I can't believe this. Dad, what have you done? Call me back. She's gone. Well, yeah, I think that would be the right thing to do. Look, Damon, I know that there's nothing that I can say or do to bring your mom back, but I want you to know that I'm here for you, okay? All right, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Alani, I heard. Look, Lawrence, what am I supposed to do? Please don't tell me you're about to start crying again. You had no situation like this every single day. No, I don't. I mean, seriously, how am I supposed to come up with $30,000 within a month? Why don't you ask one of your boyfriends? I'm pretty sure one of them will loan you $30,000. Lawrence, I don't have a boyfriend. You have something. He's just a friend. Oh, so he's just a friend now, huh? Yes, he is. I think... You think what? I think I'm about to drop out of the campaign. I can't fulfill the requirements. How bad do you want it? Bad, but there's only so much that I can do. All I can say is stay focused and believe that anything can happen. Do you need your laptop right now? Yeah, I actually need to work on a few things. Okay, so take out your flash drive, work on your desktop, and I have to install some software for you. Okay, no problem. Just bring it back Monday morning, okay? Hello, Anthony. Yeah, I need you to bring your laptop over to my house for me. I have to install some software for you. Yeah, it shouldn't take long. Do you need anything else? Great. Call me when it's done. All right, bye. Okay, Lawrence, I have a quick question. Sure. So hypothetically speaking, if a person was considered for a position, but they couldn't fulfill the requirements, what happens next? What do you mean, what happens next? To the candidate. Nothing. If you can't fulfill the requirements of the campaign, then you're automatically denied for the position. We need to know that you can represent Miller and Cooney in the best way possible. Meeting deadlines is essential here. I got it. Thanks, Lawrence. No problem. And remember, you got this. I hope so. <laughs> I bet you did. Oh, the shade. <laughs> so, anyways, how was your date the other night? What date? Didn't you tell me you was going on some date with some guy named Aaron? Girl, that was not a date. That was a joke. He was a damn bum, okay? That was just confirmation for me that dating needs to be the last thing on my mind right now. <laughs> what happened? First of all, we get to the restaurant. He asked the waitress to give us separate meals. 
Then after making me pay for my entire meal, the bastard has the nerve to turn around and ask me to take him home. <laughs> I could have slapped the hell out of him in that restaurant. Like, why is it so hard to find the right guy? Oh, tell me about it. At least you got Marcus. You saying that like it's a good thing. I'd rather be alone. Look, y'all go through stuff, but what couple don't? We are not a couple. Okay. Well, as much as I hate to admit it, because I don't like Marcus, but at least you know he love you. He just has a hard way of showing it. Really hard, obviously. See, what Marcus and I have is not love. It's just a bunch of dysfunction and convenience. And I'm starting to realize that now. Sure enough, Chantel didn't know that Marcus and I were together, but he did. And that was just below the belt. You talking about embarrassed? Okay, so let me ask you this. Are you saying that now because you actually mean it? Or because you and Damon been spending a lot of time? No, it has nothing to do with Damon. Just everything to do with the truth. I'm so over this entire situation with Marcus. I mean, whenever something happens in our relationship, he's always bringing up the fact that he didn't come from a loving environment, how he didn't grow up with his parents, and a whole list of other things. I get it, it's a hard adjustment, but you can't just hold on to stuff like that for forever. In a sense, I feel like he's making me pay for everything that was ever done to him. And yet, he's always telling me how nobody has ever loved him the way that I love him. And I know that it's true, but I'm just having a hard time understanding the distance. When Marcus isn't around, everything is great. But as soon as he comes back around, everything becomes hard again. And the last time I checked, love wasn't supposed to hurt. Well, at least not this bad. I agree with that. I just want somebody to beat the shit out of Terrence. I mean, like, straight drag his ass. Don't say that. I do, though. Why? Look how much of my time he done wasted. Well, at least he's not lying and cheating every five seconds. Hell, I wish he was. At least that'd give me a reason to leave him alone. Do you know he got the perfect job offer in Seattle? I'm talking great pay, benefits, and they was gonna pay for him to go back to school, but he turned it down. You know why? Because he's scared to be away from his parents in case of an emergency. Wow. Right, same thing I said. Like, his big overgrown ass is still scared to leave the nest. But in the same sentence, got the nerve to talk to me about a wedding. Like, I was livid. I could not even believe what I was hearing. Eventually, I had to just get up and walk out of the room mid-conversation. Why? Because that was the only thing that was going to keep me from calling him out of his name. Like, I don't understand what the hell is going on in my relationship right now. I feel like I should have just followed my first mind and talked to Jordan. Who is Jordan? His cousin. <laughs> um, what are you trying to say to me? I'm saying I should have talked to his cousin instead of him and I wouldn't be going through this right now. Girl, oh, I can't take it. Mm, yeah, okay. He's crazy. No, you crazy. Probably. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yes, it's true. I have arrived. Well, I wish you would depart. Girl, you wish you was this fabulous. Now this is what you call a style and grace. <laughs> no, that is what I call a hot mess. Girl, why are you so jealous of me? Me? Jealous of you? <laughs> Girl, you funny. <laughs> Whatever, so fill me in. What did I miss? Nothing, just sitting here ranting and raving about how men refuse to act right. I'm so happy those days are over with. Girl, bye. Everybody knows you and Sheldon are going to be together yeah. forever. You sound crazy. He can't keep trying to put his hands on me every time we argue. Okay, well, yeah, I feel that because I don't do domestic uh -uh. violence. Now, hold on, see, we all know that I don't care for Sheldon, but in his defense, Crystal hits him first. And I see, I ain't know that part. So, he ain't supposed to hit me back. I don't think you realize how heavy-handed you really are. Girl, please, my little girly hits don't hurt that man. See, next time, I'm gonna call the police. Why? So you can just drop the charges like you always do? Right. No, so I can keep a paper trail and blast his ass? Oh. It's time out on the bullshit. Mm hmm Okay, it sounds good. Yeah. And you can just shut the hell up. Okay, now what just happened here? Your friend, she always got something slick to say. It's not slick, it's the truth. Alani, say something else. No, how you gonna tell her to say something else like you was her mama? Girl, I'm not paying any attention to this fool. Oh, yeah, I bet. You can't pay me no attention because you too busy slutting around the Ooh. town with Marcus and Damon. That is not true. Oh, then why was he over last night? Who? Marcus. Oh, more secrets, huh? Calm down. I was going to tell you once you finished telling me about Terrence. Okay, so what happened? I mean, the doorbell rang and once she walked in, the topic just changed. Mm -hmm. Whatever. What's up? I don't know, man. You tell me. It's not a lot of work early. Everything all right? No, but 
Nothing I can do about it now. What's up? It's about my mom. What about her? She okay, right? She died. Come on, man. Stop playing. Bullshit you now. Man. You wanna talk about it? Nah, not right now. Uh, no, I'm here for you. You're my brother. Appreciate that. Because you know if you were my brother, I'd have been hitting Ashley a long time ago. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear that. Hey. What's this? I don't know, I ain't open it. Well, whatever it is, it's from Bill and Veronica. Oh, Didn't get a contract. This has got to be a mistake. Let me see. Oh, man. It says we didn't get the contract. That's what I just said. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Something better will come along. Yeah, I hope so, because we already taken the L by losing this contract. Not even mentioning all the money you're going to waste it. You know what? Not really. I'm always willing to accept a few grand. I'm surprised wife you're not over here. You talk to her? I don't have a wife, but if you're referring to Alani, yes, I talk to her. That's crazy. The guy known for dropping women like flies wants to settle down. Same thing about settling down. Just playing it by ear, that's all. I don't know. Whatever it is, she got you open. Man, ain't even like that. She's gonna have you wrapped around her finger in no time. Well, I guess I shouldn't show you what I bought. What you buy? Come on, man. What are you doing? You just met the girl. Man, I been knew her and calm down. It's a bracelet. It's not a ring. Bracelet in my ass. Whatever it is, it's too soon. Damn it, Richardson. What in the hell are you going through? I just like her, that's all. Well, you need to unlike her. Before you know it, you're going to be a stay-at-home dad, cooking and cleaning, ironing clothes. But me, I ain't never getting married. Psh, hell, even the thought of being in a relationship makes me nervous. That's because you haven't met the right one yet. Although, when you thought you had the right one, it was all bad. Since you want to talk about being open. Me? Open? I don't remember all that. I bet you don't. I don't because it never happened. So camera never happened? Man, fuck her. Hmm. Sound a little bitter there. Almost like you holding on to something. Ain't nobody thinking about that girl. Really? So why is her name in my search history? <laughs> Damn. I forgot to delete that. Yeah? So you stalking her from my page now? Ain't nobody stalking her. I'm just figuring out what's going on. Like what? Like if she dating or not. So you still checking for her? No. Okay, yeah. Look, man, it's all right to have feelings, all right? It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Maybe you're right, man. I am. She keeps stepping my girl. See, I know how you're feeling. I used to be in your shoes. So calm down with the attitude. You're just the next somebody new. You never know how much she's feeling you. So be happy that you got her. Don't know.